we are incarcerating more people than we ever have, and yet we're just not seeing a reduction in crime or an increase in public safety. Supporters of state questions 780 and 781 say they'll transform our prison system and save the state some money. Former Oklahoma Speaker of the House and author of the bills, Chris Steele, says it's a win-win for everyone. We strongly believe that we can actually make better use of our state's resources and yield a more positive outcome in reducing crime and improving the quality of life. But opponents say not so fast. They believe passing the bills would let criminals get away with just a slap on the wrist. They say it's going to cost all of us in the long run. I said this many times and I've got documentation that will back it up. There's been many studies that drug use and crime are directly correlated. Let's break down these laws for you, starting with 780. This reclassifies drug possession. 780 will make it a low-level offense, meaning just a misdemeanor instead of a felony. Grady County Sheriff Jim Weir believes crime will rise and criminals will learn how to work the system. You take that threat away, you're, they'll, you, they'll be a lot less like, likely for these people to turn for help as long as the, they know the worst trouble they're going to get in is a misdemeanor on their record. Now moving to state question 781. This one hitches on to state question 780. This will allow counties to use money they saved from not sending offenders to prison and it will help fund mental health and substance abuse treatment programs. And it's also a win for the taxpayers of Oklahoma because it costs on average $17,000 a year to incarcerate an individual as opposed to about $6,000 a year to provide treatment and supervision in the community. But Sheriff Weir says it's just not worth it. You're going to have good people that are on the cusp and like to try things. They'll say, well, it's just a misdemeanor now. Maybe I'll try a little heroin. And then they're hooked. And you, along with the rest of Oklahoma voters, will decide November 8th. Abigail Ogle, KOCO 5 News.